right, all right. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning back in once again to the original Queen Amadai Shakur show. Uh, so I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur. Also, thanks to those of you who tuned in on the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. So as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channels or unsubscribe. But if you do subscribe, be sure to click that notification bell and click the word all so that you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Queen Amadai Shakur. Also, you can follow my alternate Instagram page, Dr. Underscore A Shakur, and you can follow me on TikTok at Dr. A Shakur, Twitter, DGoddess27. Okay, so this is your first dose of your Sunday vitamin, so let's get into it. And so bad news for Patti LaBelle. Now, she was actually having a concert at Milwaukee's Riverside Theater, and they had to be evacuated due to a bomb threat. Okay, she was performing a Christmas concert at the theater, and she was actually on stage, you know, um, speaking to uh, one of her fans who was celebrating their 70th birthday, and then someone had given her a bouquet of flowers, and she's out there having this whole conversation with them, when suddenly two men come up on the stage, and they whisk her away, and she's like yelling, wait, wait. So anyway, uh, they say that regarding the bomb threat, you know, this was at the 100 block of West of uh, West uh, Wisconsin. All patrons had been safely evacuated. And this was according to the Milwaukee police captain, Warren E. Allen Jr. OK, he gave this information on an email that he sent out Saturday night around 1030 p.m. Said the police cleared out the facility and the investigation was ongoing. They even brought in the canine units and searched, but there were no explosive devices found. And they deemed that there was no public threat at the time. But this is also crazy. Now, Patty, a Patty LaBelle is 78 years old, you know, which she clearly looks wonderful for her age. I did not even realize Patty was 78. Uh, but nevertheless, this is all crazy. She's out here trying to perform a Christmas concert and some idiot calls in a bomb threat. Now, they say that Catherine Brunson uh, who was at the Saturday show, told the Journal Sentinel uh, that the evacuation happened barely two songs into Patty's, uh, Patty LaBelle's performance, which was around 9.24 p.m. Uh, she estimated the theater was full, near full capacity, which it actually seats, you know, around 2,500 people. She said somebody got on the microphone and said that we have to evacuate the building because there was a bomb threat. And so she also documented this on Facebook Live. She said we came out and police had the had the uh had everything blocked off with tape okay and said a whole lot of people were pretty upset and it was very scary as i can imagine now and you know probably i would think that a majority of patty labelle's fans are elders because patty's 78 so i'm quite sure and and the woman that was celebrating her birthday like i said she's 70 so imagine this theater this auditorium full of elderly people all of a sudden uh, being given the news they're here having a good time you know and and everything and then all of a sudden somebody comes on the uh intercom talking about they have to evacuate because of a bomb threat i know they had to be pandemonium so anyway scott pierce who also came to the show said that it happened very quickly said everybody very calmly exited the theater in a dis disbelieving manner you know um he said he heard lots of comments about how people you know how sad it was that someone would pull such a pathetic stunt. Uh, before the incident, the crowd was really enjoying Patty's performance. Just sad that someone does this, he says. So as of early this morning, none of Patty, Patty LaBelle's social media pages posted a statement regarding the evacuation or the bomb threat. And so, you know, it's a lot of nefariousness going on out here and people are, you know, doing so much. We've had numerous bomb threats that we've heard of as of late. I'm going to share my screen so you all can see this brief clip of when they actually whisked Patty off of the stage. So with that all being said, everyone, please be sure to like and share. Make sure you like and share. Very important that you like the videos. You all know they have the Queen Shadow Band. Thank you in advance. Seven, seven, oh. Oh, so crazy. 
Well, I'll tell you one thing. Patty was looking so lovely in her red leather, honey. She was looking, as Kenya Moore would say, gone with the wind, fabulous. But anyway, you know, it's just sad that we have people out here who do these types of things and, you know, just engage in all sorts of foolishness. Now, I don't know what their motive was. Um, the police don't even know. Like I said, there's currently an ongoing investigation to try to figure this all out. But it's just sad that they had to ruin the events for everyone who was there to just enjoy themselves. So anyway, drop me a comment and let me know what you all think about this. Because this is just all so crazy. But, you know, this is the world that we live in today, right? People sitting around twiddling their thumbs have nothing better to do than to wreak havoc. And, you know, somebody sitting at home, some idiot probably sitting at home, you know, just thought this would be something to entertain themselves, I guess. I don't know. It's all very crazy and, quite frankly, unfortunate. Uh, so with that all being said, and hold up for a second, because there's actually another video, which I'll show a clip of that also. Now, this was actually posted by one of the people who attended the event. And... uh I'm not going to show this whole thing because it's probably like 20 minutes long. Okay, so I'm just going to share a, a few minutes of a clip from this. And then I'm going to be out of here and I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about the nefariousness of it all. Y'all, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. So we have to go across the street. Until, until the police come in and sweep the building because it's a bomb threat. Look at this. This don't make no sense. We at the Patty concert. She only did one song, y'all. The, the police got this junk blocked off. Look at this. Got us standing all outside. Look. We got to go. Look, look at the evac evacuate the party concert because it's a bomb threat. If this ain't the most craziest shit. <laughs> Y'all. I'm going to fast forward. We're going this way, Ma. Lord, we got to move away from the building. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. But you all can see the havoc that was wreaked. And at the end of the day, it's very unfortunate, as I said. I mean, look at that. Such an inconvenience to people who spent their money for those tickets. You know, and at the end of the day, I'm willing to bet this had absolutely nothing to do specifically with Patty. This is likely some fool sitting at home mad, oppressed because their significant other, girlfriend or whatever, uh, boyfriend or whoever, probably went to that concert. Now, I'm just throwing this out there. I can't say for exactly certain what happened, but I'm just telling you how stupid some people are. Probably someone mad because their ex went to the concert and didn't invite them and they wanted to ruin it for them. That's probably what it was. Pay attention. And so they decided, you know what? I was just calling a bomb threat and ruined it for everybody. Who knows what kind of foolishness it all stemmed from. But very unfortunate. So with that all being said, you all drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. All right. With that all being said, I will conclude this broadcast. And I hope everyone has a lovely Sunday. Until next time, beloveds, I will talk to you all again soon.